So here's our question into calculating the speed of light using Roma's data. So we've got this picture here of the Earth's orbit going all the way around the sun at the center there. And the Earth is a distance r, that's the radius, a distance r away from the sun. So to go all the way around here, that's going to, that's 360 degrees. And it's going to cover all of that, that, all of that circle in 365 days. That's how many days are in a year. So that's just what that picture is. So let's now have a look at the question. Using this data, show the Earth took 71 days to move from A to B. Now, the Earth didn't go along this straight line here. Of course, it went around the edge here. So it covered 70 degrees in, well, we're told 71 days. We've got to prove that. You'll get a lot of that in physics where they give you the answer and you ha have to prove that's the answer. So it's the working out that they're interested in. So let's have a look. So what portion, proportion of 360 degrees is 70? So 70 degrees divided by 360 degrees. That will give us the proportion of what 70 of 360 is. If we then times that by 365 to find out how long it took, we'll get our answer. And our answer is 70.97 days. Round that up to our significant figures. And it is 71 days, which is what we were trying to prove. During this time, to take the Earth to go from A to B, the Moon Io made 40 orbits around Jupiter. Calculate the time for one orbit. Now, in this time, it did 40 orbits. So let's work out that time in minutes. Okay, so we don't want to work it out in hours or seconds or days. So we know it was 71 days. There are 24 hours in a day, and there are 60 minutes in an hour. So that is how long it took for for the 71 days. But we want it now for one orbit. So we'll divide that by 40. And the answer is 2,556 minutes. And there we are with the right answer. Part B. Use the geometry of figure 11. Okay, now, um, we talked about triangles earlier, so this shouldn't completely freak you out. We've got to find a right angle triangle, so we'll go back to our um, diagram and look at it. Now, here is a triangle, not a right angle triangle, but if I put a line across here, then that is a right angle triangle. There, there, there. And the angle within it is 35 degrees, half of 70. The distance from here to here is not D, it's D over 2. And the distance from A to the centre is the same as the radius, it's R. So let me redraw that meter on the question. So we've got a right angle triangle. We know the angle is 35 degrees. We know that the opposite side is half of D d over 2, and we know that the radius is r. So we've got a triangle that looks like this. Now we can use our trigonometry to rearrange that, to put it in the right context. So we know that the opposite of an angle can be worked out. So d over 2 can be worked out as being the hypotenuse r times the sine of the angle. Um, but that means that's d over 2, but we don't want d over 2, we want d. So d is going to be 2 times r sine of 35, which is what they asked us to find. So we've proved it there. That working out is the two marks. Now they're giving us the numbers. So we've been told that the radius is this. We've been told that the time it took to travel from a to b is 8 minutes. OK, so what, what do we do now? Well, we want to work out d. So let's do that first. So D is going to be, put the numbers into there, 2 times 1.4 to the 11 times sine of the angle. So D is 1.6 times 10 to the 11 meters. And we know the time is going to be 11 minutes, but 11 minutes, we don't want it in minutes, we want it in seconds. So it's going to be 11 times 60, which 
is 660 seconds. Now, we know that the speed, whether it's speed of light or anything, is distance over time. Our distance is d and our time is t. So our distance is 1.6 times 10 to the 11 and our time is t 11, uh, sorry, Our time is 660. That gives me an answer of 2.4 times 10 to the 8 meters per second. Now we know that C isn't 2.4 times 10 to the 8 meters per second. We've done a more accurate calculation um, more recently. So we know that C actually equals 3 times 10 to the 8 meters per second. So that value is definitely lower. In part three, it suggests and explain one reason why the value for C is too low. Well, it is lower, why? And it's gonna be due with the numbers that we've used. So one of the numbers we used was the radius of the Earth. So it's likely to say that that estimate was wrong. And for the number to be lower, it must have been that the estimate for R was too low. It wasn't quite good enough, it was too low, not high, too low. What about this number here? The time it took, maybe that was measured wrong. The estimate for t was too high. Either one of those will get you the two points.